I'm just trying to get a sense of the spatial. You're not going to escape. It's a small house, Ron. It's a, you can. Why would I be in your video? No, that's nobody does because it's my video. But uh, I mean, here we are. There's the. This is the front. This is the driveway, and you can see. Look at the shaded area. Even even the driveway feels like part of the inside of the house. And you can see clear across your sight lines, sight path is just excellent everywhere you go in this house. Got the classic Jetsons style light fixtures over there, built ins here. And this is a uh, quartz composite that's. Uh, was ahead of its time in 2006 when this was built and uh, my wife and I like a smaller kitchen and this would suit us fine and the uh, this is real wood this is uh, you know, it's a laminate, but it's uh, these are high quality finishes. This is not your typical Taco Bell tract housing cabinet. And this is really nice tile. It's a really nice sink there. Nice cabinets. I love the uh, freezer on the bottom. It's nice. Wish that it was gas heating. It is extremely cool in here. I just came from another house. It was actually uh, an Alexander in North Palm Springs, about the same size as this, and it was hot as Hades on the inside. The breakfast dining area. We go down this hallway, which I like the uh, really like the concrete. Oh, what's over here? We have okay on the just to, off to the right is our first bathroom. Nicely tiled shower. Okay, bedroom number one. Again, this is the one with the crazy pink psychedelic far out man wallpaper that is very reminiscent of the 60s and the 50s. And then I think I didn't mention this uh, very high quality sliders for the closet. So you have a whole wall of closets with very qual high quality sliders. Okay, going to go into the next, that's like a test pattern. <laughs> bedroom number two, this is the calming lily pad room. You get the lily pad carpet and a beautiful calming chocolate brown wall, which uh, that wall faces east, I believe. And he's a Volkswagen fan. And this looks like it's being used as a study slash den slash office because we have the work table there. And we have 
a beautiful slider that overlooks the pool. And that is a south facing direction there. With a, I'm gonna go out there in a minute and check that out. And uh, back into the hallway here. And let's just check out this really nice built-in here. Probably a good linen closet here. Zebra wood it looks like. Again, I love the concrete floors. It just feels so cool through here. And there's another closet here for the washer and the dryer. These are not full-size units. Just warning you. Um, over here, we've got cleaning supplies, dryer duct work. This is the master. And voila. You can hear the desert birds outside. Wonderful. It's got a very nice ambiance. We've got a wall full of closets. And you can see the side of the house here. This bedroom is in the um, southwestern corner of the house. And there's a slider. And you can see that we're late in the afternoon. There's the sun. It's it's trying to shine in here, but it is not able to because of the excellent way that Lance O'Donnell has designed this house so that it will not give us a lot of heat. It will give us lots of light without all the heat. And I'm staring back and, and we're looking at the bathroom here. The lily pad theme continues, and I like this bathroom. It's a rain room. We have the large okay, and the seating area there. There's the bathroom. We have two vanities here. And then there's the, and that is, I believe, the entire house other than the, the uh, garage, that's it. So let's take a look outside. Look at it, the soft touch drawers. Uh, this is truly an enchanting place. This deck goes all the way around the house and looks down on the pool. Now the reason why it looks down is that when I contacted the architect, Lance O'Donnell, um, his office gave him the message and he actually called me back and he remembered uh, this house design. And he said, oh, I remember these houses were all built in a floodplain, so we have to we had to elevate the uh, the house off of the ground. So you can see as you look all around the house from all the angles that yes, indeed, the house is about four feet off the ground. It's on an elevated pad. Let's go down into the into the pool area. I hear that it's a saltwater pool which I'm not a big fan of, but look at this. It's just like perfectly, these trees are providing nearly perfect shade. And of course, this beautiful screen of trees is giving us shade from the south side, even though there's another house with a pool on the other side. Ron, what are those things on the other side? Those are also Michigan. owned solar. Yeah, a lot of them are not. So, what you do is you you park yourself under one of these things. Ah, oh, 
Oh, this Stay is right just. Here. Oh, though, yeah, it's just. Come forward. It's you're you're like downwind of the misters, and it's just. It is you so. Can actually feel it here too. Oh, it is so amazing. It wouldn't matter if it was 120 degrees out here right now. It would just be so cool. Uh, we gotta just. I think. If we get this house, we're just going to have to resign ourselves to living in a really small home, but that's kind of what That's kind of what this whole house move housing movement is about. Love the ship rail. The misters. Stroke of genius. We got the air conditioning on. And uh, it feels like it's nice and cool in here. I just have to get used to small house living. But you know what? Again, there's so much light in every room that you really, you know, open vistas. I love this uh, artwork. It does have a very European feel to it, you know, like you're in the south of France and the, uh, and the shore. Okay, so starting to make sense to me. And again, I just love this. This is so nice. Yeah, this is the light coming in here at the end of the day. And your western views. And a lady in repose reading her book in a wonderful space that she's enjoying. Which is being cooled by an air conditioner that's being run on solar power. And of course we got the, the atomic clock, a typical mid-century modern vernacular. As a nod to Lance O'Donnell's predecessor, Donald Wexler. Okay, I have lowered the blinds so we can get a sense for the light level in here when it's mitigated by the blinds and uh, it's very pleasant. Boy, that would make me nuts. Yeah. Yeah.